Hey, welcome back. And today we're making a great dish and we're calling it SSP. That is survival shepherd's pie. And it's a little bit different than how you make it at home. So you guys want to see this because this would be a great meal to make just on a chance you have an emergency situation or whatever else. We're going to be using our different gas stoves here with our gas oven and everything else. It's all hooked up to the propane and we're good to go. And so you got to stick around to see how this is put together so that you can make this for you and your family in an emergency situation, because that is what it is all about. All right, first we gotta just talk about the ingredients real quick that we're gonna have to make this dish, the SSMP dish. All right, so for the SSP dish, you're going to need to get one can of Keystone ground beef. All right, you're gonna to wanna to get two cans of sliced potatoes. We're not mashing them. This is a different type of dish, so pay attention. Two cans of corn. I'm using white snow peg corn, but any kind of corn will do. And one jar of gravy or one packet of gravy that you wanna take and mix up. And this way here, you can put it into this dish. So you can either have a jar, a can, or if you just have the dry packets that you have stored in your preps, you can use those also. That is all that we need for this dish. So let's get going. I'm putting it together. All right, now we just get our stove going and we're ready to start cooking like pros here and get this dish going. So now we're going to take our meat and we're going to pour it into the frying pan. Mm. Now I did strain off some of the juice. I wanted to leave some of the juice in here uh, just for the fact that we want a little juice in this. And I gotta start getting this going here. We're gonna just break up all those chunks and this way here, there's plenty to go around for our SSP dish. All right, so we just have to let that cook for a few minutes. We gotta let it warm up and start to all come back together and we'll be right back. Okay, at this point in time, you all can see how well this is cooked up and it's doing really good. All right, so the S SP dish is coming right along and now we're ready to go into the final stages of this. It's very simple, it's very quick. Take your corn right here and we start adding our corn. All you gotta do is just keep adding the corn and stirring. Now, once you got that done, what you wanna do is open up your gravy, get your gravy ready, don't drink it. Get your gravy ready and add your gravy to the dish. So you're just kinda gonna like mix this all up. Try to get it all in there. And now, slowly incorporate everything together. This way here, you have a good, solid base for our dinner. Now, once you get this all stirred in really well, make sure you mix it up really good. So you get the gravy and everything all over the place. Just like so. At that point, we are done with the cooking stove. Turn off your gas and let's move on to the next step. Pour your meat and you put your vegetables in there, your corn, your green beans, whatever it is you like to put in there. And we like to add gravy to ours, just makes it so much better. And you put the mashed potatoes on the top. Since they're not mashed potatoes that we're using, we're using the sliced potatoes, we're gonna do it a little bit different. So pay attention. So what we wanna do is get yourself a good cast iron deep pan. Get yourself uh, one spoon and we're going to spoon some of this out and put it in the bottom of our dish to begin with. We're going to make a layer in the bottom. All right. Just like so. And you want a good spoonful. Just layer it right in there. It should be just fine. All right. And the reason we're doing this is just so you all know, is because with the potatoes, if we just take and throw those in there on the bottom, all right, and uh, we try doing it that way, the potatoes are probably going to burn and stick. If we put the potatoes on the top and they're not mashed, 
You're going to have to really watch it because they could brown up real quick on you or start to burn or whatever else. So we're going to put the potatoes in the middle. So we're going to put one more spoonful in here. Now you take your sliced tomatoes. I mean, tomatoes. <laughs> what am I thinking? Tomatoes. I must have pasta on the mind. That could be next. All right. So you take your potatoes, your sliced potatoes, and what you want to do is, I didn't smash them, I didn't cut them, I didn't do anything. They're just, oh, you know, they're sliced. And we're going to start layering these suckers right in here. All right. You don't have to get too fancy. Just layer your potatoes right into the middle. Come prepared to cook. You got to always make sure that you have a towel, paper towel or something. You know, I mean, because that's just the name of the game. You got to have something to wipe your hands off with. You know, it's just a fact. It's just something we always have to do, yet we don't really think about Stack them right up, doesn't matter if they're on top of each other. Once you get to a certain point, just dump the rest in, move your bowl out of the way, and just spread them out with your fingers. All right, now all we have to do is dump the rest of it on top. And this is gonna protect the potatoes and everything else. And we're just gonna try to get out as much as we possibly can here. And now, for the final step in the process, we're going to get the oven going and get it in the oven. Stay tuned. All right, let's light the oven. Get that going. All right. She is lit. Ah, oh, we're cooking with gas. Now you want to do this, you don't want to do it on high heat. Do it on like a medium low heat, something like that, because you just really want to warm the dish up. Maybe 30 minutes. All right, so you're just going to take this, and you're going to see that this big pan fits right into my oven. Very nicely. A big pan, big oven for something that is for camping, survival, whatever. I mean, that's a big pan I just put in that oven. It'll, it'll fit a lot of things. It's really incredible. These Camp Chef's ovens are astronomically really nice with the size of the oven that you get for your money. So we're gonna let that cook for about 30 minutes and we'll be right back. It's now time to pull out our SSP, our Survival Shepherd's Pie, and see what we get. So let's go down here to the oven and check it out. Now make sure you do have a mitt, a cloth, a towel, or something because that's gonna be hot coming out of the oven. Warning, all right? I gotta tell everybody this, you know, if McDonald's has to tell you your coffee's hot, I gotta tell you what's coming out of a 400 degree oven is hot. So we can go ahead and turn off our oven. Now, we wanna reach in here, grab our cast iron pot. Oh yeah, baby, look at that. Doesn't that look good? Let's set that down right on that stove right there. Close that oven up, because it's hot. Now, this is very simple to do, folks. Remember, we use just those few ingredients. We use the canned beef, we use canned corn, we use canned potatoes, and we use a jar of your basic brown gravy. Like I said, you could use a can, you could use uh, if you have a pouch, it's dry, you mix it all up, you can use that also. But let's see how this is going to play out. Let's spoon out just a little bit of this goodness. And as all we can see, boy, that looks really good. Nice and warm. Warm you right up. It'll be really good on a cold winter's day. You know, we just don't know what is coming, right folks? So this is something good that you could have. It is warm. Mmm. Oh my Lord. That it's absolutely delicious. Now you could also add green beans to this if you wanted to beef it up a little bit more and make it a little bit more a little bit more substantial for you and your family. But this is a great meal, folks. Remember, this is SSP Survival Shepherd's Pie with 
survival preparedness for beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. I hope everybody gets out and starts using your preps and so you know how to cook with your preps because that's what this video is all about. In all these videos I do, I'm using my preps, my emergency backup systems so that I can turn around and make a great meal for me and my family. So until next time, you all stay safe, you keep prepping, and I'll catch you all on the flip side.